Many times people make a huge mistake when they are actually at the grocery store and they spend way too much money on a certain area. And what is that? Drinking, all the drinks, meaning, for example, sugary soda. That could be very expensive. Oh, it may look cheap at the beginning, but it's really costly, more costly than you could think. Like all that extra sugar on our teeth, for example, or extra calories. I know, I'm not saying it doesn't taste fun. Sure it does. Have it less. Have it less often. You'll be shocked and amazed how that automatically shaves off your bill. But then you say, well, what am I going to drink in the meantime? Well, since it's especially bare bones time of the month, you want to make sure you have something nice to drink with the meal that I'm going to talk to you about. Number one, seltzer is significantly less expensive, even less expensive than club soda. A lot of people mistakenly pick up a bottle of club soda and they think they picked up seltzer, but that is not true. So if you really don't want to sacrifice on the bubble aspect, I get that. Get the seltzer and maybe just put some squeeze, fresh squeeze orange or lemon if you happen to have one or two of those items laying around your house anyway. If you don't have seltzer, don't give up. Still take some of that fresh fruit and squeeze some of it into your water. Put it in a pretty pitcher. Put it, make it ice cold. This is why people enjoy it so much better. They're forgetting everything. They're just having a nice big old pitcher of ice cold water, so refreshing, with some twists and hints of lemon or orange or even apple or even whatever fruit you have that you don't mind putting in there and letting it sit. Let the flavors marry by putting them in in the morning. By the time you get to have them at night with your dinner, you're all set to go. But we spend a lot of money on drinking things, and that, that's really where it adds up, especially soda. Soda is very expensive, even if it looks cheap initially. But it all adds up at the end of the year. Here's a fast, easy meal idea, okay? And it's for Fridays. Fridays, we're kind of tired. The work week is over for many of us. And we look to either just grab a pizza or spend a ton of money on pizza outside. But this is bare bones minimum week. We could go through a couple of things. I have no problem if you already purchased frozen pizza. It's already done up. It's in your freezer popping in. But there's another route we could do. I call this no-brainer pizza. You could get a French crusty bread if you already have one frozen. You could even use a garlic toast if you like as your basis and just create your own pizza toppings and pop that in the oven. Then there are those mixes that you can buy. They're already in a little box and you can make the dough. It's already done, one, two, three. Or go the route of the pre-made dough if you catch it on sale again. But if you don't want pizza, you want something different, something a little more fun and refreshing, well, I call it fun. You can definitely make a wonderful pasta with an oil-based sauce. What do I mean by that? It's simple pasta. You could get linguine or thin spaghetti uh, or spirals. It works with that. And if you enjoy broccoli, for example, like bro uh, broccoli florets, the best one to work with, to me, in my opinion, is the one that's frozen. And you could just drain it out. It's readily available. You heat up some oil of choice that you have on hand. Don't have olive oil. Don't sweat. You can use canola oil or vegetable oil. Put it on a low simmer. What you do, I don't like to use fresh garlic in it, but some people say, no, that's the whole thing. I don't like the chunks. That's why. <laughs> but I'll take garlic powder or a pinch of garlic salt, and I'll add it there. And then, of course, I just let it heat through with the broccoli. When that is finished, I just drizzle that over my pasta, drained pasta. Maybe you might want to leave a little drop of the pasta water just to keep it thick. That's it. How cheap is that? You may have all the ingredients already if this is something you like. Can this be intertwined with different vegetables? Of course. You take your vegetable of choice that's on hand. Can you take the same method and not do it with pasta and use it with rice instead? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Bare bones recipes don't have to break the bank and they don't have to be boring. Just what I'd mentioned. Have that with your wonderful chilled fruit water. There you go. Sounds good to me. Have a great day great day. Don't forget to come back in the future for more ideas, money saving. Have a great day, everybody. Click like, share, and subscribe.